Hello, Scorpio. It's your bonus. I hope you all are doing well today. This bonus is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. You know, won't work if you don't believe in it, right? Right. So this is going to be a six-way between two people, Thunderdome, of course. So I'm going to be reading for you and the person you're dealing with. Figure out which one you are. And just go with it. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, so far, there is the Six of Pentacles. Wants and wishes of the moon reverse. Release from some, like, emotional attachment. Secrets coming out. Some are feeling like they've been a little used. Fears and rejection. Not being able to escape somewhere. The situation is, um... Someone's ignoring the time. Trying to, you know, get what they can from like a dead tree. Oh. Tower reverse is the obstacle and challenge coming against this person, group one. Let's see. The high priestess is what started this and what will end it. The one will make it come full circle, right? beginning theme judgment someone's gonna have a judgment call hmm oh by the way thanks for watching this video in case I forget to say it at the end don't want to forget that hmm okay so a group one this looks like somebody doesn't have to be you and cross watchers this could always go one way or another right just fit it to you it is you either be the person or this is a perspective but the perspective is there's somebody who's just using some sort of magic or technique to cause a dead tree to produce pentacles you know thing is you know it can only last for so long until it starts sucking the life back out of him but for right now working on the tree. It's actually going to wizard the tree even worse once the pentacles are gone. But this isn't an effort to avoid the tower or just some bullshit coming out and it's like they're afraid they're not going to find a way out of this. This is like... Mm. But like someone's acting like a martyr here just wasting time. They're ignoring the time. Um, looking more towards the past instead of seeing what time it is in order to move to the future, like, they should be surrendering something. And it's time, but they're ignoring the time, so. And it has something to do with wanting to get rid of these illusions. Because they're secrets, right? So let's see. Seven of Pentacles. What is up with that? Oh, okay. Oh! Tower! Alright! <laughs> oh, wow. Um... I want to say what they're doing is going to bring the tower. Yeah, they're, they're sucking so much out of this tree that, like, the illusion's gonna break. Because that's what magic is, pretty much an illusion. Always has been, always will be. Uh, it's just whether or not you believe in the illusion is what makes it real. And I feel like someone is, um... Okay, check it, right? It's like, because... Alright, because this is an illusion. And it matters if you believe in illusions, right? So, this person believes so hard in this illusion that them trying to um, produce something out of it is what brings this tower. And their obstacle is trying to avoid the tower. Someone's already hit the, um, someone's already hit reality when it comes to, like, this being exposed. Despite the high priestess right here. 
Um, Hangman Reverse, this person who is ignoring the time is losing their chances at starting something new. They're one wish with the moon reverse for emotion, like emotional ties to be severed, te severed. I think, that, yeah, severed. Um. Like, something didn't happen, and thing, somebody was judged very harshly for it. They went off or cupped somewhere, and it was for naught, for it, everything was barren, and they had to see a bitch. I don't know what I'm saying, you know. Um, I'm not sure, okay, um... This one is like they really want out, even though they're pretty set up. Yeah, there's someone out there that they're um, thinking of, but they want out. Like, and, and like someone's right here, a little shadowy person, right? Just watching in the corner that kind of looks like them, just very eerie, but it's like they want out. They want to escape to get to this person they're wondering about. Let's see. Oh. I want to say they still can't get over it. Scorpio. I'm not sure if this is you. It could be a different person, but you know, whatever. Um, the tower reverse. This is the obstacle. And that obstacle involves surrendering, I think, a third party. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, the wheel's turning. No love here. Someone is guarding themselves from a cup? Yeah, I feel like there is somebody else involved in this. Uh, bit of a pipe dream. And a bit of feeling foolish, I think. And not wanting to be foolish anymore. Now there's a fear and a rejection up here with the Seven of Wands. Or someone feels like there's no escape from a really bad situation. Maybe with the King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries, somebody who holds a big stick and like has good control over everything and is able to judge accordingly. I also feel like this person's, like, worried they won't be able to get out to get their own, like, um, autonomy back, if that's the right word I'm thinking of. The High Priestess right here, she likes to guard secrets. This is what started this, and this is how it'll come full circle. About a separation somewhere. And the ending... Theme. The separation could have been with a Gemini, too. Ooh, two cards, actually. Someone's wondering where the love went to. Like, someone's looking outside. Wondering where that love is. Hmm. Like this dude just looked out the window and then he sees this cup um, flying in the background. Like what in tarnation? <laughs> um. But this the whole situation right here. Someone feels like they ended things too soon. But it's not like they had any cups in. It's not like there was anything in the cups anyway. It's upside down. So it's just like it was empty. 
So I was just kind of like, ah, I mean, like, ah, like, it was pretty soon, but, you know, maybe it just wasn't fulfilling from the beginning. But someone is definitely observing how, <laughs> um, that little part of the world is not with the rest of the world. Kind of like letting go of it. Like, looking back on it fondly. Cherishing it like a childhood memory. Um, but waiting for it isn't going to do anyone any good. Group one. Like, nothing's there. It'd be different if it was, like, flourishing, but it's like, nah. Nah. It's a desert. Alright, that's yours, group one. We're gonna move on to group two. Alright then, group two, let's see what's going on on your side. Okay. If you say so. These would be really late. Mm. I don't know. These cards are very much different. But they're still pretty cool. I think they're still mad because, like, you know, having done whatever. I don't know. There's only the guy out of the moon tonight anyway. Oh, yeah. Happy, um... Full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn, I guess. That's coming up tonight. Yeah. Where is it tomorrow? I can't remember. Like, it's one of those days. One day. Something. But you might want to check. Because I could easily be wrong. Alright. Group two. What do we have for you? Oh, you're trying to get out and you just don't know how. Good deal. Alright. So. Uh, wants and wishes is a victory. Uh, but fears or rejections is looking for a reason to stay, so it's just like, you're just nope. You're nope all over. Uh, the situation is a wish was fulfilled, but it came with a lot of baggage. Obstacles and challenges coming against you. Four of cups reverse. Like, you let an opportunity go because you were like, fuck it, and now you're just like, you want to unfuck it because it was just like, oh shit, I, I actually didn't mean to do that. Like, what was I thinking? Like, one of those. Okay. What started it, what will make it come full circle, some individuality, some dreaming of getting bigger in life, nine of pentacles. What's the beginning theme? Knight of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. Someone just on the run, ready to go. Go anywhere. Say anything. Do battle with anybody. Flies with wings. On a fly. Which is like... Or a flea. Is that a flea? That might be a flea. That's even more creepy. Mm. Alright. So, group two. Ew. I didn't notice till now that, like, that card had a flea on it. That's like. Oh, and it's got a stinger. That's terrifying. I'm sorry. Like, I just. The things that my brain wraps itself around. <clears throat> Okay, so Seven of Wands reverse. Mm. Okay, group two. It feels like someone feels stuck in a situation that they can't get 
definitely can't get themselves out of. And now they're thinking back on like something that they had an opportunity with that they decided, oh no, I don't want that. And now it's like, oops, that was the wrong idea. It's almost kind of like, you know, what, it's almost like what goes around comes around kind of shit because you want a victory here, but it's like you missed the opportunity to do so or you just threw it away on your own. And now it's like you really don't want to try to come back, but you will if you have to. You know, that wish was a little bit, hmm, like all you want to do is be single. <laughs> Like, all you want is to be single, I think, but, or something, something to do with your image. Something where, like, you're very pronounced with the background, you know, or you're very, um, you pop out from everything else. Oh, there's one. Okay. Seven of Wands where you're trying to get out, but you don't know how. You're willing to make an offer, but you're slow about it. Like, taking your time. And it's towards this victory, right? The baggage portion of it with this wish fulfillment. Ooh. A little bit of betrayal. What's that about? I don't know if this was the witch. Or if this was the result of the wish. It could be either or. That's a weird situation, man. Okay. Oh, is that why... Is that why you feel like this opportunity might be... Might have... Like, this was a bad no-no? Like, this just didn't... Oh, okay. Hold up. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess so. I guess so. All right. Hmm. Like, usually I wouldn't do that, but I asked a question, so... Yeah. You definitely uh, feel like... You screwed up what makes you secure, I think? Seven of, or no, not seven. Six of Wands? Seven of Wands is a terrible moment. Six of Wands is pretty cool. Everyone's on your side. There's a victory. Everyone's celebrating with their sticks. You're not as awesome as your stick. You got a flowery crown on your head. You got six arms. You're good. On the inside, you are dominating. be based in like it's kind of cloudy in truth it might just be an illusion like wrong idea about things or maybe your hope you're victorious at, about some lack of clarity either you're wanting somebody who doesn't know something or isn't sure about something? Or... You want this victory based on a lie? Because <clears throat> it's like there's this wish fulfillment and it came with baggage and there's betrayal here and then like... I don't know, man. Like there, like you got a slow moving offer for one for somebody who's like trying to get out of a bad situation. I don't know, group two. What you're not like, I think what you're rejecting over here is the six of swords reverse. Um, like everything's on fire over here, so it's kind of like you know, I want to go back to where I came from. No need to look back at what happened. Uh, we get a new start here. Two aces. Hmm. Let's see. This was flipped. Someone would be like... Okay, if the fears of rejections are flipped, it'd be like... 
Someone wants to take off because they don't want a new beginning, right? Or they'd be afraid of taking off because they're no, they know there's no new beginning. So they have this fear of having to go back in order to start something new. And with this victor here and this ace of swords, it's kind of like... Hmm. That who is not victorious, you know, will in the sword. I'm not sure, group two. It's like... Like, the victor has the wrong idea. <clears throat> Let's get the three advice cards, are just, and then we're done with your video. Yay. I don't know who any of you are, so, like, I'm just lost in the sauce. I mean, let's see. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries. Not really much of anybody. I mean, there are feelings, but, like, it's just, like... Feelings of, oh shit. Oh. Okay, this is what started it, what'll end it, right? With full circle. Independence, Queen of Wands. Like, she's over the King of Wands, and it's like she's kind of watching him, like, fly off. Like, where are you going? Mmm. So this might be another person you're dealing with. You just kind of like, they're cool by themselves. Like she's got a kitty cat. The clown. Okay, someone's trying to be very decisive in this with the Queen of Swords. With the whole, well, trying to get out and being slow with an offer and a, a, a wish that kind of like somehow involves some sort of backstabbing, like painful periods, stressing out, feeling like doom, maybe overthinking stuff, or... I'm not sure, but it, it, there's something involved with it, right? Oh, there's Capricorn. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Someone's got, like, the Queen of Swords needs to cut up this, this right here, because this is not cool. That's not good. Might be dealing with a Capricorn. Might just be dealing with a situation where the relationship was not the best. Wasn't healthy for either person. And someone might just go away, like, really pissed. Like, this person is kind of being logical and cutting it out, and this person is just turning their back on it completely. But are all in their feelings about it, like... Like, they know it's bad. But they don't care. They're still upset about it. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. That's... The end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want a personal reading, the description box below will have all the info. Also, there are links to, like, the streams I listen to for the background music if you want those to chill with because they are very nice um I think that's all I have to say I'm not sure but yeah you guys take it easy I will see you later now bye bye